BIS, the most sophisticated bank in the world, reclassified gold as the world's only other tier one reserve asset next to U.S. dollars, you can understand why these countries that are joining BRICS are massively loading up on gold, why the central banks of the world have bought more gold over the last 18 months than at any time in history, why it was the biggest first quarter acquisition of gold by the central banks in history. It is really the, um, the one really important newsworthy completely uh, accelerating uh, trend that I think before it's all said and done, we'll have perhaps the greatest impact on the United States. You have... Hello and welcome to Crypto Street, where we bring you the latest and most intriguing stories from the world of cryptocurrencies. In today's video, we'll be unraveling the secrets of Bitcoin's future. But before we jump into that, let's take a look at some recent developments in the cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin holds steady over $30,000 as inflation data, macro issues, leave investors increasingly unmoved. Google Play changes policy on tokenized digital assets, allowing NFTs and apps and games. Crypto crime takes back seat in 2023, but ransomware prevails. A report from Chainalysis reveals a significant decrease in crypto crime in 2023, highlighting a 65% drop in losses to unlawful actors. The ransomware attackers continue to pose an escalating threat. EU's financial watchdog publishes proactive stablecoin standards. The European Banking Authority calls for early compliance with guiding principles on stablecoin issuance, aiming to ease the transition into a regulated digital asset environment. Celsius is suing Stakehound, claiming the company failed to return $150 million worth of cryptocurrency assets amid Celsius' bankruptcy proceedings. The digital ruble, Russia's central bank digital currency, moves closer to becoming a reality as the state Duma approves the related bill. Western sanctions on Russia demolish global trade system, cause inflation surge, says Russian banker. Bank of China expands digital yuan testing to SIM cards and NFC payments. A recent ruling involving LBRI brought before Judge Paul Barbadoro refrained from setting a precedent on secondary market sales of cryptocurrency as securities. Robert Kiyosaki warns U.S. dollar will die citing Bryce Nation's plan to launch gold-backed currency. Economist predicts end of U.S. dollar dominance as more countries de-dollarize. U.S. government transfers $300 million worth of seized Silk Road bitcoins. U.S. inflation hits two-year low, boosting stocks and precious metals. Silk Road BTC Valued at $300 million moved by U.S. government, U.S. authorities oversee a significant movement of Bitcoin worth $300 million, originally impounded in connection to the infamous Silk Road online market. Now let's begin our enlightening discussion with Annie Sheckman. I started talking about the BRICS long before it became um, popular to talk about in, in this industry or even in the mainstream. And I have been watching this coalition of, of countries um, join together against the Western hegemony, uh, against the Western sanctions. And to me, it is a, I don't know, to me, it is the bouncing ball. It, it is really the, um, the one really important newsworthy completely uh, accelerating uh, trend that I think before it's all said and done, we'll have perhaps the greatest impact on the United States. You have what amounts to 25 countries that have either expressed interest uh, in joining the BRICS bloc uh, or have outright applied from Afghanistan, Algeria, Argentina, Bahrain, Bangladesh, Belarus, Egypt. Indonesia, Iran, uh, Kazakhstan, Mexico, our neighbor to the south, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, the list goes on and on. And now we see Macron from France request uh, a invitation to the new BRICS summit uh, in South Africa, where James Rickard says publicly told the world, and I've been talking about this for three years, what he told the world, that they have every intention of issuing a commodity-backed currency this August at this meeting. Uh, he has gone as far as saying on August 22nd, expect to hear uh, a, a 
an announcement of their new currency. S&P Global's chief economist, Paul Grunewald, predicts that the U.S. dollar will no longer maintain its dominant status as the world's primary currency. Grunewald highlighted the diminishing influence of the dollar, citing an increasing number of countries de-dollarizing and shifting towards the use of national currencies in trade settlements. He specifically mentioned the growing utilization of the Chinese yuan in international trade and the availability of cheap financing options from Chinese development banks. While Grunewald acknowledged that the U.S. dollar will remain a leading currency, he emphasized that it will no longer be the dominant world currency. This trend is further supported by the bureaucracy's economic bloc's efforts to develop a common currency, which some believe will undermine the dominance of the U.S. dollar. Other experts, including Robert Kiyosaki and Jim Rogers, have also expressed concerns about the erosion of the U.S. dollar's value. Now, if we take a step back to 2019, when the BIS, the most sophisticated bank in the world, reclassified gold as the world's only other tier one reserve asset, next to U.S. dollars, you can understand why these countries that are joining BRICS are massively loading up on gold, why the central banks of the world have bought more gold over the last 18 months than at any time in history, why it was the biggest first quarter acquisition of gold by the central banks in history, because it is the foundation of what comes next. So for me, everything else, Jesse, is just in the periphery. It's noise. Uh, the trend far as I'm concerned, is a global de-dollarization and a drive against the Western sanctions, the Western suppression, the Western perception of hypocrisy, and the Western hegemony. And I don't think we've seen anything yet. So for me, this is what I am focused most intently on, although there are so many things that we could talk about from the banks to the economy the geopolitical event to the political event, but to me, this is where the real interest is, at least from my perspective. Bitcoin BTC neared $31,000 in today's session as traders were optimistic ahead of upcoming inflation data from the United States. Following a low of $30,358.10 on Tuesday, BTC slash USD jumped to an intraday high of $30,831.81 earlier in the day. Today's move resulted in the world's largest cryptocurrency breaking out of a key resistance level of $30,800. Price has since fallen below this point as the Relative Strength Index, RSI, neared a ceiling at 62.00. The index is now hovering at 61.98, with bulls hoping that there will be a breakout following the release of the Consumer Price Index, CPI. Should this occur, the price target will likely be at a resistance of $31,400. Ethereum ETH also edged higher on hump day with the price once again closing in on the $1,900 zone. So far today, ETH slash USD peaked at $1,895.08, which was nearly 2% higher than Tuesday's low at $1,863.22. Unlike Bitcoin, Ethereum's 14-day RSI has moved beyond its own ceiling of 52.00 and as of writing is tracking at 53.42. This comes despite the 10-day red moving average MA being on the cusp of a downward crossover with the blue 25-day MA. A crossover of this kind will likely be a bearish signal and could prompt traders to abandon previous long positions. That wraps up today's crypto news highlights. Stay tuned for more updates, insights, and analysis from the world of cryptocurrencies. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content.